Hello everybody, my name is B. John Heineman, owner of Premier Health Solutions. Here I am in my backyard in Scottsdale, Arizona, sitting by the pool on this warm winter day. And I'm gonna show you how you can do some exercises from the comfort of your own home if you don't wanna to go to the gym or you're a little crunch for time. So these movements that I'll perform for you today and show you how to use are something that you can do on your own time at any time during the day. And afterwards, I'm gonna show you some supplements that I use before and after my workouts to help my fuel my body for proper recovery and proper nutrient absorption. So this first exercise we're gonna show you of this sequence is called the body weight squat. The body weight squat is the foundation of all of movements because it's a total body workout. So the way you're gonna start this squat out is you're gonna have your feet a little bit wider than, than hip width apart, shorter than shoulder width apart. Now depending on your flexibility in your hips is gonna determine whether how low or how high you're gonna be able to squat down. So the way you want to work this movement is you're here and you're going to bend at the hips and bend at the knees. So you're going to be here, stick your hips out, and squat down, and then back up. I'll do it again. So we're here, squat down, and then back up. So that's the movement. I'll show you a couple from the front. So we're up here, squat, and then back up. That's the body weight squat. The next movement in this sequence that you can do from your home is the push-up. The great thing about the push-up is you can modify it to where your strengths are as well as how you want to perform it. So you can perform this movement from your knees or from your toes. So I'll show you this movement real fast. So for those of you who are just starting out, you can start from your knees, just like so, and then you want to put your hands out to where they're directly under your shoulders. And when you perform this movement, a big thing is to bend right at the elbows. When you bend at the elbows, make sure you angle your elbows back towards your hips and lower yourself and then press through your hands and then come back up. So we'll do that movement again, down and up. Another modification if you're a little stronger and you're used to doing this is the push up from your toes. Same thing, core tight, butt tight and you're gonna do the same movement. Bend at your elbows, come down to the, your sides and then come back up, down and up. That's the push-up. So this next sequence, this movement in this sequence, is an inchworm into a runner stretch. It's a little bit of a stretch, but it also keeps your heart rate up if you keep moving. So the way you'll perform this exercise is you'll start here, your feet are hip width apart, and what you're going to do is you're gonna put your hands down on the ground, and you're gonna walk them out to a push-up position, and you're gonna bring one foot up, and then back, and the other foot up, and then back, and then you're gonna walk your hands back up. And you're gonna stand up, and you're gonna perform the movement again. Here, and here. And you can see my daughter wants to join us with the exercises. There's the movement. All right, so the next movement is called the suitcase crunch. So it's a little bit of an ab work. This is the last movement in the whole sequence. So we're doing something for your core. The way you perform this exercise is you're going to be down on the ground, knees bent, back flat on the ground, hands right here on your temples. Don't grab behind your head, hands right here on your temples. And what you're going to do, especially if you're working out from home, you're going to do it with your kids, which is the best part about it, is you're going to take your elbows and your knees and you're going to bring them to the center just like that and then back down. So all you're doing is just bringing your elbows to your knees, touch the ground and then come back up. That's the suitcase crunch. So here we are, we're gonna put all those movements together so you can get a good workout from the comfort of your own home. So we're gonna perform each exercise. I'll do a couple reps of each in a row and you wanna do it multiple times in a row. I say about five to six sets of each. And then if you wanna know more about the rep schemes, we can talk later. You can contact me and I'll give you my contact information at the end of this video. So here we go, we're gonna perform each movement. So we're gonna start off with the body weight squat the push-up, the inchworm to the runner stretch to the suitcase crunch. All right, so here we go.
then that's the workout. <laughs> okay, so we just finished the workout, and I want to talk to you a little bit about nutrition, which you can take before to help fuel your body and give you proper energy during your workout, and which you can consume after to feed your body the right nutrients for proper recovery. So before my workout, I like to take these two products. This first one is called Ant NOX, and what this is is called a vasodilator. A vasodilator is what allows better blood flow throughout your body into your muscles. And this is made from red beetroot, celery root, and red spinach root. So this is a very much a plant-based pre-workout that's very clean. There's no artificial sweeteners or colorings or flavors that it's inside of it. So it's extremely clean. The other one I like to take is called Amped Power. This is a creatine. It's a low-dose creatine. And creatine, what it does is it gives your body a lot of energy. It gives you, your muscles a lot of energy to perform the workout and push through with proper, amount, proper amounts of energy without crashing. So the good thing about this is the dosage is low enough, is a good level to where you won't feel any bloating or anything like that. After the workout, I like to mix two things. I like to mix undenatured whey protein. Undenatured means it's not cooked. It means all the live enzymes are still available for the body to be utilized within the protein. And that's really big because there's a lot of proteins out there which have no enzymes, which makes it harder for your body to process the protein and break it down. So I like to take that, and I also like to take this thing called Amp Recover. Amp Recover is full of branched chain amino acids. The main ones, which is leucine, isoleucine, and valine, which is very much present in this. This is a really good plant-based one that has um, it has red beets, it has beta carotene, as well as those really good branched chain amino acids. So this is what I take afterwards, and this is what I take before my workout. So if you'd like to look, know a little bit more about the supplements that I like to use that has helped fuel my body for my workouts, or if you wanna know a little bit more about what you can do from the comfort of your own home, or if you're pressed for time on workouts, but you really wanna get something in, please contact me, I'm here for you, and we can go over what your goals are and how we can get you to where you want to be. So you can contact me at area code 509-378-9735. Shoot me a call, give me a text, what works for you, or even message me on Facebook and you can and I'll get right back to you by the end of the day.